Oh my god, I'm live. Oh dude, I I'm live, guys. Oh no, I'm live. Oh my god, I'm live. Oh dude, I'm Hold on, live. I how do I all right, I gotta pause this. Well, guys. I've lied to you. I did. I lied to you guys. I've been lying. Do you guys have a deer meat for dinner hat like I do? Right? About that last year. Guys, first of all, happy Easter to all of you guys. I hope you guys saw the latest tugboat uh, series video I just did. Absolutely awesome. Hey, how's my audio? Oh, you guys like the hat? Look, hold on. That's uh. All right. Let me explain my lie. Give me a second. So, as I'm here right now. Oh boy. Hold on. Oh man, this is not good. This is this is I uh, guys, this is borderline like terrible. All right, um, view view products. All right, damn it. All right. My friends, we are putting the hat drop live right now. Okay, tomorrow's April Fool's Day. So I was going to April Fool's, and I'm still going to April Fool's. And a bunch of people are going to come in tomorrow. But right now, right now, look at my site, all right? All right, let's see. In stock, save. Okay. If if you guys jump in, coupon code towboat all under case. Okay, you're gonna say fifteen dollars per hat. All right, so let me do this. Hold on. All right, we got. Yeah, this is gonna be wild. I didn't even want to email anybody because I know that the diehards have their notifications on. Um, pricing. All right. In stock, where's it in stock on this one? There it is. So, if you guys have been seeing some of the stuff, hold on. They're all going in, guys. The hat I'm wearing right now is going in stock. Oh, wait a second. Is this hat even available? Time out. Let me see. Oh, it is. It's it's going this hat right now is going in stock. There's a lot of guys. There's a lot of cool st stuff. Hold on. All right. <laughs> I lied to you. All right. Let's see who's in there. James, what's up? Happy Easter, Francis. Happy Easter. Mrac was here earlier on the premiere. What's up, Mrac? Les, good morning from Lexi Lexington, Kentucky. So. We got uh, an egg hunt coming on in a little bit for the fam. Uh, so that'll happen. And and I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how, how the traffic is. Daniel's at, at the boat ramp now, but I'll probably go a little later to get the end of the chit show, right? Supposedly, a truck went under yesterday, guys. A truck went under uh, around like 7, 38 o'clock. Oh, my goodness. The freaking Fred. Danger hats, guys. That the Fred Danger hat was one of the ones that just went away last time pretty quick. All right, shoot. Hold on a second. Oh boy. A lot of people are gonna be mad at me. A lot. Why? Because guys, you gotta understand. <laughs> I want my diehards to get everything. And the diehards have their notifications on, right? So I sent out an email. 
on my Instagram, I said, I told people on my Instagram, hey, I'm going to kind of troll you guys um, that it's not going to happen on the first. In stock, guys, I have to manually do these all one by one. So the cool thing is, like the whiskey throttle raised, where, do I, where's my whiskey throttle raised? Where is it? Uh, like stuff like this. Is this it? No, this is another whiskey throttle. Okay. Right? This is a raised. Right? You see how it's puffed? I like these too. These, these, these are super comfortable. The Velcros. See? Where my whiskey throttle hat? Hold on. Who else is in here? What's up, Teresa? Good morning. What's going on, Bert? Guys, that tug yesterday I was on was absolutely awesome. Calimocho from Spain. Let's go. I'm down next year. Remember, this is my dry year. Oh, speaking of dry year, right? Just so you guys know that I'm legit, right? I um I stick to my dry year, guys. This I, I look at this every single day and I'm like, okay, this is my dry year. I can't touch it. So, and don't even get me started with my, with my, with my little, so think, think about this. I talked to the guys at Informa. I said, how cool would it be if we can bring this shed to the Four Lauderdale boat show? This here, like just literally pick it up, take it. And put it in for a lot of them and be like, hey, you guys want to come in and check out the chat? Dude, that'll be epic. Hey, don't you never know, dude. You never know. Hold on. Let me continue putting some of this stuff. Uh let me open this up, guys. Because after this, after this, I'm gonna I'm after this is open, I'm gonna send out an email. So the mass email is normally what people get. And like I said, some people are going to be mad. Let me see. Hold on a second. Oh, boy. In stock, save. Okay, some people are asking, and remember the hook sunglasses I have. They're, they're actually in the other office. Um, I have hook sunglasses on my site with uh, my Chicho logo. Somebody asked me for one of those with the Chicho logo that has hooks. I forgot who it was. Happy Easter from Indiana. What's up, Scott? Um the chit chat baby, let's go. Yes, guys, how cool would it be if we can get that over here? Um, I still have a ton of content from the show. Um, dun, dun, dun. And keep in mind, I I have some inventory that's going to be going to um, Miami Marine and. Um, and uh, El Capitan South. So you guys will have that available as well if you can't make it. Uh, ta -da -ta -ta. What is this? Why is this like this? Oh, no. All right, I see what we got to do. I have to put. Ta -da -ta -ta. In stock. In stock, apply. Um, this also might be, just so you know, certain hats, there won't be no more. Not because they're not great hats. They're good hats, right? But certain hats, just that's it. They, they lived their life. They did what they were supposed to do. And, um,
Oh boy. This is this is not good, guys. This is not good. This is not good. A lot of people are gonna be upset. Hey, but bro, listen, we're here for for the fam, right? I don't want to track inventory. Go away. Oh, do I have to? Yeah. I do have to track it. Uh, cancel. All right. So check this out. I'm going to go now since, since the site is going to be open. I lied, bro. I lied. I lied. I lied. I lied. It's available. It's available right now. All right. I lied. Call me a liar. I'll tell you what, though. Only great thing about this right now is that. Uh, let me see. The only great thing right now about this is that. Since you guys don't like my videos, nobody's going to really see this live stream. So it's it's cool. Um, let me see. Hold on. Um, Hey, um, click click that uh, click that that uh information there on the streamyard. Anybody that wants to come into the stream, see if I can get you guys to come on stream while I do all this chittery here. Uh, <clears throat> Happy Easter, guys! Happy Easter! If you just came into the stream, Alfred Montana, I just went ahead and I lied to everybody. I told everybody my my actual drop was going to be tomorrow, but tomorrow's April Fools, so I didn't. Tomorrow, what I'm going to tell people is I'm going to say, look, guys, we're not doing the job. And then they're not going to realize what the hell's going on. And the hats were, were open already. Damn it. Let's go. Everything. It's going in. Oh, my goodness. Whiskey throttles are back. The whiskey throttle. That's good that you guys are not going to believe me in the future. I, I want to make sure. Times are tough, guys. Misinformation is real. Right? Can you believe my wife cut my cable? She was like, you don't watch it enough. I'm cutting the cable. I cut the cord. What the hell? So now I'm trying to figure out how I can get YouTube TV over here on the silent or something. I don't know. I got to figure it out. Comment below if you guys cut the cord, but she cut the cable. She's doing everything streaming. I was like, what? And then it made me realize. You know what it made me realize? I was like, damn, no wonder why I got so many viewers. A lot of you guys cut the cable, too. And then you depend on guys like me to give you the information of the chittery that's going on in the world. Oh, what we got here? We got here. Hold on a second. Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Good morning. Wait for it. Lindsay. How are you? Let me see if I can hear you. Hold on, guys. Lindsay, um... Check your mic. Say I, something I real think, quick. See if I can hear you. I think it's on. Guys, uh, comment below if you can hear Lindsay. Let me check here. Hold on. I can't hear her. But you know what? That's happened to me before. Hold on, Lindsay. Wait, wait Lindsay. Wait for it. Can you Hold hear on. me now? Let me get online and see what's going on over here. Uh, YouTube. Can you hear me now? I hear her. Okay. So you guys hear me, but I don't hear her. Okay, so let me take this off. Hold on. Let me turn this on. I forgot. Hold on. Can Lindsay, can I hear you now? Okay, I hear you now. You hear me now? Good. You hear me? Awesome. <laughs> Happy Easter. Now I can't hear you. <laughs> now I can't hear you. This is crazy. 
I can't hear you. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. I think I got you. Yep. I got you now. Do I got you? Do you hear me now? Yes, I oh can. Oh my goodness. This thing is horrific. Yeah. Can you All right, hear well, whatever, me? Whatever, guys. I, I, I can deal with that. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm good. You're good. You're good, Lindsay. This oh. is. This is me doing a tiptoe over here. I'm putting Lindsay on the tiptoe. Can you hear me now? Verizon second. Let's Sounds go. like the Verizon ad. Let's go, Lindsay. Hey, what's going on in the fish fan? What's going on? What is going on? There's there's like chittery everywhere. Oh my God. We're gonna we're supposed to get 18 inches of snow at the end of this week, and I'm not happy. I thought it was spring. 18 inches only? <laughs> we just had 28 last weekend. Okay, and where where exactly are you at? I'm in North Conway, New Hampshire. Oh, New Hampshire! You know, I went to New Hampshire. Remember that time I went over there and uh, I stayed there one Christmas. Yeah, when I go out on my back deck, I look at Mount Washington. Okay, so this is why you guys don't understand that it's hot here all the time. You you guys, listen. I know that you're so scared to leave the house, but Florida. <laughs> It's 90 degrees outside. People are right now, look, right now in Biscayne Bay with uh, bikinis this big, this big, literally, <laughs> and Speedos maybe this big. Um, so, yeah, people are out in, uh, and about and enjoying. Uh, I mean, it's crazy. Supposedly, we're going to get a cold front of like 80 tomorrow or something like that. Oh, my cold God. Front. Cold well, front. It's beautiful right now here. It's 43 degrees. Okay, so 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 how cool is this that I left an open link for anybody to join the chip show right now? Pretty Good. cool, huh? Yeah, it's awesome. So 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 okay. So you're in New Hampshire right now. Yeah. Did you see the latest video that I posted this morning? No. You know what? I was at I was at uh, uh, sunrise service. It, it, okay, so so I just posted a video of me on the B&M tug when they're removing the actual beams from the Palm Beach Boat Show because I did the teardown because all you stalkers on the internet said, Alfred, you got to go back. You just can't just go ahead and do the build out of the show and not do the teardown. So you guys made me do it. No, I'm just sitting here with my attack cat, if you look. He's attack right. attack cat yeah <laughs> why, why why do you call it the attack cat because he loves everybody who comes in the house really he's, he's very friendly not he's like he's like pilch he likes to attack yeah people that, that very, are around very much so <laughs> we we lost we lost the truck yesterday guys at black point well I, so you're not going to be able to get that on video no, no, no. The Big Dan shows in the house. Dan, get in here. I have an open link. Come in here. I want to see if you uh, can jump. Dan, uh, big, the Big Dan show is probably right now at, at he's probably at the boat ramp, right? You're probably there waiting for the craziness. Guys, if you don't follow the Big Dan show, he's, he's in the panhandle area filming the boat docks and the boat ramps over there. It's, it's pretty wild. I came home from um, the service down on the lake, mm -hmm. and um, I put my night shirt back on again, and I'm in cook mode because I have uh, all my family will be here about three thirty this afternoon. And we're gonna have a big dinner. Nice. So yeah. we're gonna do we're gonna do something now in a little bit here, because you know my grandson he's gonna do the whole Easter egg hunt. We're gonna do that. In a little bit, when uh, the 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 night owl, Miss Montaner, Miss Montaner is like the night owl, and I'm the early bird. So, so we would always switch shifts when the kids were little, right? Like, I'd wake up at five, she's going to sleep at four thirty. So, <laughs> so I I try not to bother her in the morning. If not, I get the third degree. Wait for it. I'm the one who's always up at quarter of five, five in the morning, and I crash out at eight o'clock at night. So when Joe, Fisherman Joe comes on the air, 
it always seems to be eight o'clock or whatever. I never get to see him that much anymore when he does his lives, if he's out shrimp fishing or whatever. But well, listen, uh, the thing sometimes happens also based on if there's people in the West Coast, right? The times yeah. are different, right? So, so right now, what, what time is it? It's nine forty-seven. That's so it's right. Six, it's six forty-seven, guys. I just put a link right now. If you copy and paste that link. And you click on that link that I put just now. You guys can come up just like Lindsay did. Lindsay's a, a moderator here for 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 the chit show. And uh, thank you, know, you yeah, that, Alfred. By the way, well, well, listen, I, um, I enjoy being a moderator for you. Well, listen, I, I regrettably I can't be here uh, available as much as I like, right? Yeah. Um, and and I hope that that all you guys that that do the moderating know me as 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 much and say hey guess what we uh we're gonna do what alpha would do right so i appreciate you guys uh oh uh oh we got a doorbell all right Lindsay, you got you got some space right there i'm gonna move you to the side uh -oh. okay uh oh guys since i'm six five two twenty five and ripped this man is eight feet tall he's <laughs> eight feet tall the big What's damn up, show man? is eight feet tall <laughs> I'm cooking yeah. eggs this morning. I am not at the boat ramp. I'm cooking yes. eggs. Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. Easter. Guys, the, that, the that is the Dan. big Dan show. Friends. No, it's okay. Hey, listen, uh, Dan, we want the chit show over here. If everybody starts making a scene, that's even better. Oh, it's already been a circus here in the house. I've got, yeah, you don't even want to see. <laughs> There's Easter bunnies everywhere. I have, to, I have to go for a minute. My sister's calling me from Florida. Hey, thanks a lot, Lindsay, for ju jumping in the chip show. Okay. Hey, how cool is that? All right, Dan. Thanks, so, everybody. Take care, uh, Lindsay. So, so, Dan. Yeah. So, so, I'll probably go to Black Point in a little bit, only because it's the last day of spring break here in Miami, and people want to get their uh, boating done. So, yes. I love that. Look at that. I spent, awesome. I spent all day Friday and all day Saturday. It was kind of slow where I was at on Friday, but yesterday, uh -huh. absolute madhouse chaos. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to drop a new video. It's going to be insane here in probably Monday or Tuesday. So okay, so 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 give us give us a, a little teaser of of what you filmed that that was absolutely nuts. I got. Uh, <laughs> A husband and wife, they're on the verge of a divorce. I'm, I'm not oh, sure no. if they're going to make it through. Oh, and no. I got one guy, 17 minutes, couldn't figure out how to put his boat on the trailer. There was no wind, no current. And he just in and out, in and out, in and out. And I finally, after a while, I was like, brother, you've got to trim that thing down. So he trims it up. Props oh, completely my God. out of the water. Whoa! Can't figure it out. I'm, I'm thinking, oh my! People are on the docks trying to coach him through it. He can't figure it out. Man, I felt terrible. Well, uh, you know, you do, but you know, regrettably, there's a service. There's a public service that's being done by yeah. us boat ramp videographers. Yeah, and one guy came up to me and said, "Man, I hope you feel terrible about yourself at night for making fun of new boaters." I said, "I'm not trying to make fun of anybody. I'm trying to help people out. When they see this, they know what not to do when they show up, so they're not embarrassed." What not to do? You know, <laughs> I I have to agree with you 100. percent um, Do you see any of the videos that I posted recently at Palm Beach? How crazy that is! Yes. Insane, so, dude. I need the, one of those hats. Hold on, I'm going to get my look, phone. I'm getting my phone right now. You're gonna tell look, me your Venmo. I'm gonna Venmo you right now, and I want okay. a hat. Hold on. All right, listen, guys. So if you just came into this, uh, um, my hat, my hat drop just went live. Okay, so I still have to add more hats, but okay. Um, back okay. What's the Venmo so people can get a uh, hat right now? Oh, uh, okay. So, okay, listen, listen, Dan. It's easy. I have it very easy. Go to my site, luxury rib rib tenders .com. Dot com. Go to the store section. Okay, 
before I'm there. before you make before you make this purchase hold on a second hold on hold on hold on let me show you the other one because you might you might have buyer's remorse okay this 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 one give me a second give me a second all right there's a green one too there's a green one like this and then there's also a, a an american flag one just like the american flag colors also they all have fred you know because fred is the florida guy so that's right if if right here from here down right the reason it's a different color is because the american crocodile can be seen from here down within florida yeah on the i way heard up, you talking you, about that that's sick. yeah you know i i, I like to, i like to educate people right yeah i thought that was pretty cool too when they told me that so the alligator is is obviously you guys have alligators up there too right where you're at yeah you can yeah, see yeah. them yeah Not like rocks, but gators yeah yeah gators and, and, but but you, the perception is that there's no american crocodiles in them in america you know they don't yeah. know until they meet one while they're kayaking and then they're like oh, oh shoot boy. what the hell then, then they're in trouble I'm still waiting for that kayaker to fall at the boat ramp for educational purposes, Dan. Um, that's what you shouldn't do, yeah. right? You shouldn't that's fall right. off your kayak when there's an American crocodile. I see. So when are you gonna come? When are you gonna come back and 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 film with me? Because last time you came, I was at the show in Miami. Yeah, as soon as I get some time off, um, my, it's kind of crazy right now. We just we, yeah. we got spring break and kids yeah. sports. So probably yeah. sometime next month or something like that. I want to try to get down there. You can hear them in the background right right now. I'm sure. It reminds got, me of. I've got four go. of them. <laughs> yeah. So it reminds me of of travel ball when they come up the the cat the coach says, "Okay, guys, um, we're gonna go ahead and tra take a trip to Mexico next week, and then the following week we're gonna go back to Pennsylvania from Pennsylvania back to California, and then we're gonna have like a four hour layover in." Cancun and yeah, travel baseball. And then between that, we're gonna have five nights of practice from five thirty. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm like, dude, I, I did that bit, and I was like, okay, either I'm gonna go broke with this travel ball, yeah. or, or, what? or we're gonna have to slow these kids down. What's right. Pennsylvania? I got uh, two in <laughs> baseball and one in cheerleading. That's awesome. Well, you know what? You got to do that because ultimately, uh, Dan, that's that's what's going to make them who they are in the future. Is this is this your cheerleader right here? Is, that's one. Of, that was one of them. That's what. So you got how many girls and boys do you have out of the four? Two girls, two boys. Say hi. Okay, so Dan, where where are you filming from right now? Right now, I'm like the I'm in the kitchen right now, Pennsylvania, no, Florida. Pensacola. Okay. Yeah. So in the panhandle. The panhandle. Oh, so, okay. So here's where I gotta do. I gotta go to you, right? You need to come to me. It's insane here. I, I, well, you know, I used to live as a kid in Panama City. So Pensacola was in the area, right? And I love oysters. I know. So every, I remember you telling me. Oh my we goodness. I, 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 I just think of Dusty's and, and Hunt's oyster bar in Panama City. And I, I just and just Pensacola is huge. Oh man, I'll tell you right now. Hey, dude, the, the, I won't it's, stop. It's, it's it's not really. I don't. Well, I don't know what the law says on it. But when COVID hit, it was awesome because we take the boat out and we mm -hmm. dive all these piers like Fort Pickens Pier and mm -hmm. uh, where they got the ferry back up, baby. Where they got the ferry and all that. Mm -hmm. and we, would, we would free dive down there and get the oysters off the uh, <laughs> off the pile, out fresh and good. Oh, oh, well, well, that's that's why I like going up there. These guys are literally going in from the boat, and they hand them, and you see the water just coming off the the oyster oh, shell, right? And then you're hitting them up, and you're like, oh my! And you know why? Right now, I'm kind of basing for for oysters is because this is the time of year that I usually go on a road trip with the family, and then anytime I have an excuse to go up the Panhandle and go to Panama City, so now you're my excuse. Hey, hon, we got to go to we Pensacola. Gotta go I got Big Dad, Big Dad over there. Right. I got to go see him. It's, it, has, it has to happen. That's right. 
We got some good boat ramps over here, too. Typically, I'm hanging out in Orange Beach. There's a ramp called the Launch at ICW. You look okay. it up on my channel, 80% of the videos that I've shot are at the Launch at ICW. There's mm -hmm. 400 parking spaces, and there's 400. Nine, uh, 400 and nine lanes wide. If you could imagine nine people trailering at one time, it's going down somewhere. Okay. Yeah. So, so I got to shoot with two cameras and the drone. So my wife's been tag teaming it with me lately. She's been running the camera. I've been running the camera and the drone, and it's just it's crazy. That that's that's awesome. Listen, I don't think we have room for four hundred parkings here. They just opened up a new marina. Uh, well, they're opening, and they're gonna. They said that they're gonna build it in uh, where the vulture used to be in Miami Marine Stadium, in. Uh, just kind of looking, overlooking downtown Miami. So that's going to help. And then Hallover is being fixed. So yeah, Hallover yeah. obviously is 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 a huge uh, area where people want to come out of. Uh, but it's the boat ramp what's, is kind of slow. What's the capability at Black Point? 175, 200? You know, they, they restriped it. They restriped it recently, uh, maybe about a year ago. And they lost some, some on the actual pavement. But they yeah. opened up like a lot in the back that is basically like an overflow lot where we used to, they used to have it to burn like Christmas trees. And since the dump is right behind there. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're about, yeah, but what you're saying, maybe 150 to 200 based on. Um, With the overflow. Which, kind of, yeah. which, kind of, which is kind of rough. So think about it. Like you want to go like on the summer, you want to go on the water. If you're not out by 730, you already get oh, that notification. Not but you're not going. You're you're yeah, done. That, that, that's the problem where I was at yesterday. I was at the smaller boat ramp called Navy Point. Yeah. There was there's only 40 spaces there. So I don't shoot there a lot because once people are in, they ain't coming yeah. out until supply. You know, there's you, there's no supply. There's no there's yeah. not enough people coming back. Man, I, I was watching truck and in, in boat after boat after boat, truck with boat, jet skis, kayak. Yeah. Asking by probably 15 to 20 every 30 minutes. They would take a loop in the parking lot and they'd leave. I'm like, man. Yeah, so. it, it's 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 actually nuts. Guys, I'm posting right now um, uh, an actual link to, to come into the stream. I'm here with Big Dan from the Big Dan Show. Um, uh, I need you to tell them, Dan, that you're eight feet tall, dude, because I'm 6'5", 225. You made me look okay. like... I, I'm 6'6". Six, six. Was three twenty? I was three twenty five. Really six six three twenty five. Oh, oh wait, hold on, hold on. I'm You're seven, eight feet tall. Four fifteen. <laughs> hold on. Seven six four fifteen. But I just lost weight, so I'm back down to four hundred. <laughs> okay. So, guys, I don't know why this filter is making me look fat on YouTube. What the hell's going on with this YouTube filter? I, I put the YouTube filter to look a little bit heavier only because I want to make sure that I fit in with my, the people who watch my channel. I mean, but guys, I'm really shredded, but my filter right now is, I don't know, this AI I think, thing is pretty when, crazy. When I saw you at the Miami boat show, I, I didn't even almost recognize you because you were so shredded. It, it, uh, people don't realize that, man. They look at me and they're like, dude, this guy was not lying the whole time. Today yeah. I'm lying about my drop, guys. I'm uh, guys. I lied about the drop. Okay, but listen, luxuryribtenders.com. Go to the store section. All my hats are gonna be live. I've been telling people they're gonna go live tomorrow. Okay, but I'd rather tell my diehards today. Hey, I'm going on there as soon as I get. I I, I paused the burning of the eggs because I messed up the first one. I don't. I don't want my wife to come in here and start throwing. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. Sit go, big Dan. The, oh, come the on, wife. Let's go. Hey, I, I, I saw I saw the, the looks that the wife did over there in Miami. Whenever she thought that you were in check, she would she would do the side eye. Like that. She you could you could see her telling him stuff telepathy. Like, you know, here, I've been telling you comes, this, Dan. Like, uh oh, like, uh oh. She, she don't want to be on. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, you're no, on the, you're on the, on the you're, on the you're the camera woman. There it is. He <laughs> he had right, one job to feed the kids, and he burned the eggs. Yes. 
Hey, I appreciate it, Alfred. Everybody, if you're not subscribed to the shit show, you better be. And go on luxuryribtenders.com and get your merch now. I'm fixing to do it. Yeah, as soon as I cut these eggs. Uh, all right, Dan. Listen, we're we're gonna take a we're gonna take a, uh, I'm gonna take a road trip over there. We'll, I'll be in contact with you. Yeah, shoot me a text. We'll line it up. I got a place to stay for you. We'll figure it out. All right, we'll blue blue a truck. Let's go. <laughs> Later. <laughs> All right, guys. The Big Dad Show. Check him out, guys. If you don't follow him on YouTube, check him out. And uh, big shout out to him and his family. Uh, cool stuff, guys. So, isn't that what this is all about? About community? Isn't that super cool? Somebody literally just opened up their home to us over here. Um, let's see who else is in here. <laughs> We got, let's see who else is talking smack. Um, I am still, I have to make sure that all this stuff is going on. Okay, so if you guys don't know, Andy from the Menorcan Mullet has been covering the bridge collapse. Um, which is basically in his wheelhouse. If you saw the the, the episode that he did, um, that that Andy did with the um, the Golden Ray, let me see if I can. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Road trip with the mobile chit chat. Let's go, Les. Let's do this. I'm down. You ready? I'm down. So, yes, uh, Andy's got that series going on right now. I think that's going to be interesting. I think that's going to be crazy. Captain Boomies that lives in Annapolis, you got to check her out because she's she's a charter. Well, she's a captain. So she's working with a lot of those boats in that area. So, yeah, they're, they're locked in there. They can't get into the port, out of the port. 15,000 jobs uh, coming in out of that port. Um, or use that port on a daily so if think about the economic uh catastrophe that that's going to be in the future right because they, they got to get that stuff moving and i think uh, andy just reported that there's a, a a gas a high pressure gas line under there so oh man hold on a second guys let's see um i think oh boy I think I'm going to be able to for, do the, the things on my phone, put some of the stuff online. All right. I want to see, I want to see some of my subscribers. I'm pasting the link guys. If you click on the thing, you can use your phone. Basically that's a link to, to have a conversation right now. It's almost like Chicho live when you guys call in. Um, I'm getting messages left and right. Hold on, guys. How's my audio? Because I took off my headset, and this this is not known to be the best audio. Let me see. There's nobody here. <laughs> we had Lindsay come up. All right. Let me know if you guys. Hold on. Settings. Let me see here. Audio. All right. That should that should be better, right? Like the audio, I should be a little bit better. Oh my goodness. All right. Um I'm getting texts. Oh, I'm getting texts, my friends. You guys should read my text. Uh oh. Somebody's coming to my shed. Hold on, let me see. Hold on. 
Get those out. All right, let me see who else is in here. Um, what do we got here? Romania in the house. Um, Romania in new comments. Let's see what the... Whoa, 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 Harvey AK Viper. I'm half naked in bed having breakfast. Don't think this is the show for that. Harvey, that's a little thick right there, buddy. I don't know. It's Easter. I don't know if you know this friend. Um, that was a little crazy. Okay, so... So I think this month was pretty good, bro. I mean, we we literally went on the tugboat with Captain Lance. How epic was that? We did the tugboat uh, twice. We went on the actual yacht carrier with Captain uh, Courtney from the Cape Ann. Epic. So we've done some really cool stuff. Why am I getting so many messages? Oh, my goodness. It's, it's the orders. I'm thinking I'm hearing all these messages. That's what it is. Okay, makes sense. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Wow, there's a lot of site visitors on the site right now. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look, guys. It's crazy. It's crazy how technology, like right now... I don't know why it does that. I, I think that's kind of creepy when you think about it. Like I, I use a, a website called Wix and it tells you like when people are on the site and it shows you like where in the actual website they're at. I guess that when you're on a website, then then, then, then they just pop up and say, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? They're like, get away. Get away. Yeah, guys. <laughs> Could you imagine what Google does? Okay, um, let me see. Dan is sending me a message. He's trying to make his order. Um, don't know. Okay, so so he's asking the shipping. The shipping will be included. Just just go into the thing. There, the the shipping guys. If you do. A hundred dollars or more, the shipping is going to be free. Um, but the shipping will go automatically. You can do it to PayPal, um, Apple Pay, or Google Pay, um, which will accept your major credit card that's, you, that's on there. I'll, I'll save you one, Dan. If if you can't figure it out or, or if, if if you're having issues, I'll save you one. Just text me a photo if you want this one or the green one. Um, the green one I've been wearing, I rocked this one lately. Um, it's just, this is, there's just a lot of cool hats guys. And, and listen, for those that don't know, remember I, I recently met dear me for dinner, right? And I don't sign a lot of hats and embroidered hats with my signature are not many either. This collection has hats that have seven there's seven there's five silver and two golds signatures on certain hats but you you see like like when i met robert arrington over there at the miami show i watch his channel i i enjoy his content and uh and i've purchased his um uh merchandise um i don't know i was thinking about buying some of uh, fishman joe's merchandise but somebody took the unbranding uh, shirt before I was able to order it. So let's see, guys. Hey, big shout out to Salty Rand over here. He's got multiple shirts, multiple hats. Um, yes, uh, a lot of people are going to be mad at me. But tomorrow, like I said, I'm going to say, hey, guys, it was April Fool. Sorry. The the hat. I'm going to literally say the hat drop isn't happening to, today. Uh-oh. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, my love. Good morning. You want to be on YouTube? Because I'm live on YouTube right now. What do you mean by? Wow. She still had her groggy voice, guys. Um, 
Hey, ten in the morning. That's not too bad for the Montaner on uh, on Sunday. That's she's. I don't know. Maybe she'll jump in the chat now. Uh, may the everlasting light of Joe's uh, diamond shine through all of you guys. The Church of Joe. Um, I don't recommend that cult. Normally, the cults that you should uh, deal with are are different. That cult, uh, uh wait for it. I was, I was talking to to the guys because we have a group chat going on, and I was like, "Wait a second! All, all these cult members started in my channel. Wait, what, what? What the hell does that mean?" So, it's not a cult, my friends. We're not. But yes, guys. Um, Fishman, actually, Joe, I'm 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 happy to see that Joe's got this new 250 motor that was on La Bestia, which was my remote, right? So he's uh, he put that on, and uh, I hope it works out well for him. I mean, we we really did have good compression. I took care of that engine as much as possible, and I think he's gonna go ahead and he told me he swapped out the prop, and I've been telling Joe to do more more content when it comes to like. You know, yeah, do the lives as you do, but, you know, still give them a little bit more of the backstory of stuff that you don't know. <clears throat> Alfred has made friends worldwide, guys. Yes, you guys, listen, if you guys, um, yeah, for, look, you guys have become friends yourselves, right? Uh, yeah, that's probably not the best comment, Catherine. Wait. All right, well, we're going to have to moderate some people here in the chat. Uh, I mean, things are going a little crazy. Wait for it. <laughs> how many people do we have in the stream? I can't tell right now how many people we have in the stream. Do we got at least somebody in here? If I don't have the boat ramp going, guys, it's it's hard for me to get people to come in we need a hat that says wait for it well I have I have give me some chop hats coming um what's the other one give me some chop and oh man I know uh the Calentona hats are also all right. So the Calentona hats. There's a long story to that, and you need to you need to kind of gotta follow me on Instagram to understand that a little bit. But basically, the Calentona is so you know in Spanish when somebody says, "Oh, she's a hottie," but she's like she's like down. Right, um, or it can be calentona means that she's a hothead. Also, that can be a term. But somebody that gets you all riled up is a calentona, and there was somebody locally here that was calentando or heating up a lot of the boat manufacturers, making him think that they were going to buy. He was going to buy their boat. So this guy literally got almost every single local manufacturer to have him do a C trial and told them, hey, I'm going to wire you the money. I'm ready to go. I'm going to buy. I'm ready. And then all of a sudden, when the, when the, the salesman thought they were going to get the deal and the money transferred, he would ghost them after he did a C trial. So he would go on a sea trial, do Instagram selfies, and then post it on his Instagram and be like, yeah, I'm looking at this one. I'm going to buy this. Then to top things off, I don't know if he was pulling up like in a little Nissan Sentra, but you got to have some, um, what's that uh, term? Uh, uh, best practices, guys. If you're a salesperson, 
I don't think anybody gets on boats more than me, right? I'm like the ultimate calentona, but I give you something in return, which is a video, right? But, but yeah, so if you see the calentona hats, that's what it is. It's somebody that is getting the salespeople all excited about buying a boat, and then he goes to them after he does a sea trial. So, you know, and he knows everything about your boat. And once he knows everything about your boat, you think he's serious, right? You're like, oh, my goodness. So so remember, all the boat manufacturers, they teach their salespeople how to ask certain questions, like what boat do you have now? Da, da, da. Where do you keep your boat? Is it on a lift? Is it in the water? Do you trailer it? So so from that area, you, you get an idea of who's just a tire kicker. But, yes, um, yeah, guys, he's got everybody. Let me tell you something. He's gotten the best of the best. I mean, this guy, I tell you, I've laughed my ass off because I've literally had conversations with these people who fell fell victim to the Calentona. And uh, it's like, wow, he got you too? And then I was like, well, show me the procedure. I think one time somebody told me that he said that, look, you know, I got a trust fund, but it's going to take a couple of days to do the wire transfer. If not, don't worry. I, I can get it in cash. I can give you the cash. Just meet me. So so at the moment, you're like, and then to the point that he, I think he had somebody come like from far, dude. Like <laughs> this guy had somebody come from like up north somewhere, probably by where Big Dan is at. And then the guy didn't come through, but he did his boat right. He got his boat right. Now the, 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 the multi-million dollar question is, is this is this wrong right like you know there's people that just go to houses um to go ahead and look at houses because they want to go ahead and do something interesting on the weekend so comment below is this wrong to hype up the uh sales i don't know i want to see what you guys think hey i'm going to put a link if you guys want to come into the stream uh tap that link and you guys can join the space and uh we can go ahead and talk. Uh, I can actually have you here on, on thing. I'm curious to see what you guys think about this. Um, <clears throat> let me see if I continue putting other things on the site, guys, while I'm, I'm waiting for you guys. Oh, my goodness. Look how many messages, dude. Wow. All right. Um, I go to open houses for donuts and food. Okay, uh, you see, there's there's people that do that. Um, I sold manufactured homes in Florida. I hated the waste of time of tire kickers. So yes, um, but this this wasn't just your ordinary tire kicker, guys. This was like Alentona. Um, and there's a lot more to that story. A lot. Maybe one day you guys will know the whole story. Uh, ta -dum, ta -dum. Products. Guys, oh, boy. All right. I don't want to. I don't want to say. Okay. Okay. Oh, Dan. Dan. Dan didn't put the coupon code. Dan. There's a coupon code, guys. Look. Look, uh, hold on. I don't want to show. All right. All right. So, Dan, all right, the Big Dan Show, okay? Dan bought the hat, this hat right here, guys. The Big Dan Show, guys, when you see him over there in Pensacola, all right, he bought he bought this this one here. So it's it's um okay guys if you do go on the site remember coupon code towboat and you'll save 15 bucks. That's like maybe half a coffee at Starbucks or, or maybe. Um Dan um you pay full price, dude. You didn't have to. But I guess I'll, I'll pay my next parking ticket with that extra 15. Thank you. Salute. <laughs> Big Dan's going to be over there filming uh, his show over there in, in the panhandle. Today is the last day of lobster season. 
Yes. Um, actually, I had some people telling me that uh, yesterday that they were catching lobsters. So, big shout out to the, the lobsters. Um, Captain Abel, guys, has commercial, commercial guy, right? Um, we've done videos with Captain Abel's from the ocean to your table, call Abel. That's uh, the man who actually gets a lot of lobsters. Uh, when can I order a velvet hat? Hold on. Are the velvets not open yet? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You know what it is, MRAC? Hold on. I know what's happening here. I'm distracted, and I haven't opened the entire store. Hold on. I'm going to open up the velvets. Oh, there we go. Okay. Whiskey throttle ve velvet. Oh, boy. Hold on. Whiskey throttle velvet. Hold on. Oh, boy. Um, save, save. Yeah, there's, there's just so much, guys. And, I, and I'll tell you, right here, once I finish the stream, this stream is just to kind of give you guys awareness that this is happening. Um, manage. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go right now to where everything is stocked and put it online. So if you see something that you haven't gotten, just follow the site. Literally from here, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to be typing in things. Obviously, I'm distracted now. I want a, uh, I want a black velvet Fred old school Cuban painting. Let's go. Uh, hey, nobody got hurt. You never went to test drive new cars. Well, I don't know, but I'll tell you what. If you know, you know. That's all I'll say about that. Wait for it. Uh-oh. We got the Menorcan mullet. Andy, what the hell are you doing? Why didn't you come into my stream? Get in here. I want to know what's going on. I want to know what's going on in Baltimore. I want every five-second I want to know if 10 seconds something happens. I want to know from your channel, Andy. Get in here and tell me what the hell's going on in the bridge collapse. How crazy was that? <coughs> Comment below what you guys think the true story is on that. A lot of conspiracy theories. One of the things I want to do is go on a pilot boat so you guys can see who actually is directing how to use what, right? Or who does what. Um. Is also having breakfast in bed, Viper, the Andy News Network. Listen, I want to get I want to get my my sh shrimp uh, stories and what's going on with Captain Johnny. I want to give Captain Johnny a hug the next time I see him because of what that guy has gone through with his shrimp boat. Hey, comment below if you guys think uh, um, Joe is uh, lurking and doesn't want to come up. Hold on a second. Joe's up by now. It's Sunday. He couldn't shrimp yesterday. So, yes. Um, hold on. Save. All right. Dude, look at this. Okay. This hat. Okay. Hold on, where's my whiskey throttle hat? I just had it. Dude, I just had it. Here. The Velcro, the whiskey throttle. Look, it's going to go live right now. Right? Oh, my goodness. All right. I just got, I just got a very important text. This hat right here. Right? Whiskey throttle velvet. Right? Obviously, mine is used and old. Because actually, Andy has this one. Andy has this one. Okay. This right now is 35 bucks on my site. But with a $15 off coupon using coupon code TOWBOAT, the coupon code lasts for three days, guys. Yes, I know Joe's in here. Uh-oh. 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 The doorbell is here. The doorbell. 
Hold on. Wait for it. Joker. The doorbell here. We're going to know what's going on with the Baltimore collapse. Hold on. Let's go. Let's go. Fuyaga. The Menorcan mullet. Let's go. I got to take this off now because imagine. It's, you're not going to be able to hear me. Hold on. Hold on. Good Damn morning. Man. Good morning, this. guys. Oh my goodness. I've completely lost all the audio with, with Alfred now. Maybe I'm the only one. I can't. How about now? Can you hear me? See, I'm having a hard time hearing Alfred. What about this now? Hold on. What about now? Dude. Audio. It says I have audio here. Hey, comment below. Let me know if you guys hear me. You guys hear me now or no? Okay. Romero says yes. I believe Romero. Andy. Hey, Alfred. Good morning. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. You better put your seatbelt on. Like I saw that video of you doing. <laughs> Guys, this uh, man is a rebel. There you go. The seatbelt is on, my friends. What is going on with the bridge? Tell me the bridge story, my friend. The Menorcan mullet here, guys, on the chip show. Well, I tell you, Alfred, it's, it's been my channel. That's that's really how things got started for me. The when, Golden Ring. The Golden yeah, Ring. You know, kind of covering an event like this and um i've just i've just been pulled back into it and i hope understand i am not on scene but from what i saw you know i, I watched a salvage operation take place every day for two years yes and every single I, day guys amazing I, series i picked up a lot of stuff and and you know it's just like anything else you do you begin to develop relationships with other people that are familiar with that, with that operation, that, that type of work. And they would help me to understand things. And uh, those relationships continued. I've, I've been uh, talking with people that, that I developed those relationships over this course of this whole, whole thing uh, since last so week. We got some insiders in, in the story. Well, let's say, uh, insiders. I've, I'm hearing insider. That's I'm, Blue. A lot of eyes in the entire world are centered on this thing, so we're just trying to do do what we what we do, and and try to try to spread the word and well, what's going on and what we're seeing. Okay, um, were you able to fly or can you fly a drone there? I think somebody says three mile radius ban and no fly zone before below five thousand feet. Is that is that Are accurate? You, is that is that accurate? Alfred, I lost you there for just a second. Can you repeat it? Okay. Okay. Can you fly okay. your drone you fly there? Your drone there. I can. Um, you know the we put out a video this morning about uh, the they've they've had a pressure that says the area is closed down. Well, um, I have been continually getting approvals from the FAA to fly my drone in the area. Now understand. I'm a 107 pilot and I'm afforded, I should, I'm, I'm afforded to be able to fly in other areas because I have done the schooling. Uh, I'm actually a pilot. I am a private pilot. You get on a plane and you can fly it. Yeah. And you can fly it. Yes. Um, you want to, you want to go over in bowling, bowling, bowling and fix that place? Bowling and fix that place? I think, I think that situation needs more more than just a pilot. 
I uh, think that's a shit show. I'm I'm down. I'm ready. I'm ready to film it. I'm ready. I'm ready to film it. Um, but go, getting to the drone, the, you know, the the state of Maryland and the Coast Guard and the Army Corps engineers do not dictate airspace in this country. We we still live in the United States of America. Now they can they can certainly make a request. But the, the organization that sets those sets those parameters is called the Federal Aviation Administration. Maybe you've heard of them. I don't yes. know. Yes. But, uh, yes. As of this morning, I was still able to get uh, my clearance uh, to be able to fly there. Uh, hopefully, I can. I've got some logistical things to get worked out, but hopefully, we can do that. We can find our way um, up to Maryland because it's something that uh, I feel drawn to, and, and I want to be. I want to get there and to be able to get capture some images and and uh, be able to talk to to my channel and speak to my channel firsthand. Well, well, I want to know every detail, I Andy. Know every detail. Andy. I'm getting re. I, I'm, I'm I'm getting, getting like a reverb from, like from there. I guess. I guess. Yeah. Uh, you have. If you'll bear with me, stay, stand stand by just a second. I got to take care of oh. one little bell right here. There okay, that that may have helped things tremendously. That, that, there, okay, so I want to know what's going on. I don't care if you're there or not, right? You're going to be my news network when it comes to this collapse. And and why I say that, I'm so much more invested now because I, I think about the guys that I've been doing work with, right? Imagine the people from the tugboat that I was with yesterday and they can't get their barge out of the port for whatever reason and they can't go to work. What do you do? What do you do? You got, you got the most capable people of the area that supply all the things that we need. Coal, cars. I was I was I was reading that the port the port of Baltimore has more cars than Brunswick. And when I saw what you were telling me and showing me of those roll on roll offs out of Brunswick, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, how many Brunswick, cars coming through Brunswick? Brunswick is number two behind Baltimore, um, which I guess now that makes Brunswick number one. Um, and you know, Alfred, you you talk about the 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 the, the port being closed and, and the crews there. Man, it goes so much deeper than that. The, that that entire Baltimore community, the entire area, is going to be suffering from this, and they're going to be suffering oh. from it for a while. Um, yeah, you know, think of think of not only it's, it's it's not just the guys working the docks and moving moving the products, but you know all the supply uh, people, uh, the restaurants, uh, any anybody that serves anyone that works in that port is going to be affected by this. It's going to be a tremendous economic loss, and until they can get that that channel way opened to allow those. Oh. Allow okay. those folks that are trapped in there get out so they can resume operations. It's it's gonna it's gonna be a mess. So let's let's speculate real quick, right? Let's speculate real quick because I want to know what you think about this. And I'm, I'm I'm actually I'm still trying to put stuff live on my on my site for the hats and stuff. That's why I'm looking down, uh, Andy. Okay, yeah, sure. What yeah. type of equipment do you think they're gonna need to get in there to start removing all that debris? Right, like. Well, what what do you think they're going to use? They they have they've been steadily moving resources onto the site. Uh, Don John, who oddly enough was the original contractor on the Golden Ray pro, uh, project, I got to know uh, a lot of those guys when they got started until they were um, abruptly pushed off of the off the project, and that's another story in itself. But um, those guys have a very a heavy lifting. Uh, Derek Barge called the Chesapeake 1000. It's on scene. It's capable of moving uh, or lifting a, a 1,000 tons. Uh -huh. that's, a, that's a very capable crane. And then they have another uh, crane, one of their cranes on site that is um, a 200 ton crane. Um, they're, they're, they're moving a lot of equipment. There's another one on there that's uh, rated for 330 tons. I don't know that it's going to be that's what it's rated for on land. I don't know what they're going to be able to pick up um, on the barge because as, as well as you know, you know, the barges will move a little bit. We saw that from your video. You know, it's they, they move a little bit. So you got to be careful what kind of loads you place on it. 
got to be a skilled operator that knows what the machine is capable of on that barge. But keep in mind, they're not going to be lifting up the entire span of these bridges. This thing is going to have to be methodically dismantled in the pieces that they can manage and pick up and be able to, because you got to think once this, once this stuff gets picked up, it's got to go somewhere, Alfred. It's got to be placed onto a barge so it can be transported away from the site. So you can't pick up a whole span of the bridge. Well, that's, well, that's well, crazy about, talk. Well, just just the fact that you can get the assets there in time, like the EB ten thousand. What was that? What, where is that at right now? What it was it called? It's the the VB ten thousand. VB ten thousand. That was built by Versabar, and it has incredible lifting capabilities when it can get directly over whatever mm -hmm. it's lifting. It, it has to, for that piece of equipment to be effective on that job, it would have to be able to straddle the the bridge pieces to pick them up. And okay. That, that would present its own set of problems right now of trying to get it in position, you know, because the, the bridge is completely across the river. And I think what they're doing now is they're trying to open sections so they can get those resources all the way around that bridge and be able to attack it from both sides and be able to get those more importantly the derrick barges in position you got to have the derrick barges in position to get the personnel up to start cutting to be able to 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 put a put a strap on it and rig it to sling it to cut it if that makes sense okay so 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 this is going to be a, a lengthy process i mean people are gonna i mean this is going to be an economic situation for the people who work gonna, here this isn't going to happen in a week no this is so so this, so this 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 may affect the supply chain there's no doubt it's going to um a lot of a lot of products that were it i just started getting my hats back you yeah. know how hard it was for me to get the hats the blank hats well, it was saying, it was a nightmare products that would have been bound for baltimore for the Port of Baltimore for distribution are going to be routed to already other congested ports to be moved from there. So where the shipper was originally planning on, say, a container coming into the Port of Baltimore, well, now it may be coming in uh, to New York or something like that. And so, it's, it's yeah, there's going to be some delays. There's going to Andy, be Andy, let me say hello to Doc real quick. I want to show Doc something. All right, you got him. Doc. You see this right here? Huh. The next time I go, hey, when I go, what's going on, Doc? So listen, the next time I go and get moonshine from Georgia, yes, good breakfast. Yes, I'm good gonna. Breakfast. <laughs> he's, he's telling you he's got something there for you. What is that? It's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a bottle, a bottle of. Uh, uh, Blue Yeah. See it right here. It's it's good. Whiskey. It's good brown. It's good brown stuff. Whiskey. It's got, it's it's I not got, like the moonshine. I got some good stuff for you. <laughs> trust, trust me, he's part of the reason I I take my dry ear sometimes. The, <laughs> the, the hole in my stomach when we were <laughs> there in, uh, in, in the in the series that we did with the uh, guys. We did we did a whole live stream. Me, Andy, and Derek for Christmas. It was epic. And we all hung out. It was it was just a great time. For those that didn't watch it, it was it was absolutely awesome. We had a great so, time. Yes. Um, well, listen. I know you got to get somewhere. I got to get. I got to get to all my hats. I got to go ahead and make sure everything is available, guys. Remember, use coupon code Towboat all under case. Okay, and you guys can get fifteen dollars off anything in the store. Take advantage of that. I really don't do discounts. I, I like I like the fact that I know when somebody is wearing my merchandise, they're supporting me, right? Because it helps me. Cameras. I mean, how many how many cameras? How many drones have you lost already? Uh, uh, four, four, right? It happens. But but stuff like this when people support, and I'm actually giving something in return, right? I'm giving you yeah. something that helps me get the cameras, SD cards, all the things I need. To give them the incredible content that they get. I enjoy wearing my shit show hats. And classic. The merch that, you got a classic. Got. You have you a know, classic. It's and it, you know it's funny is you wear it, Alfred, and somebody's going to pick up and they look at it and go, Alfred. <laughs> you know they 
like, like it, you'd be surprised. Yeah. You put it on, and yeah. people people recognize they recognize that logo. And oh, absolutely! Crazy. Listen, they know the terms. You know, they know the terms. It's awesome. Look at Emrak putting me on the pole. You can't put me on the pole. It's Easter, bro. There's no pole today. No, there's no pole. There's no pole. Hey, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a pole on the, on the, on the grandpa boat. Um, As I think you should. Well, hey man, yeah. thanks, for, thanks for having us here on the show today. Um, it's uh, I enjoy sharing what time I can with with you and your your viewers. Yeah. Um, if there's anybody out there that that wants to see so, a little bit of coverage of the. Of the operation come on over and check us out over at menorcan mullet uh, love to have you there uh, come join the menorcan navy thanks again and, and peace out happy easter everyone take care doc good to see you i'll see you guys in a bit great <laughs> to see you alfred all right doc guys that's andy jones from the menorcan mullet reporting on the baltimore hold on there we go big guest um guys we got a Calentona in the house? Oh, I haven't opened up the Calentona hats. My bad. I'm sorry. Guys, I can't be everywhere. Hold on. Damn it. Let me tell this guy something. Hold on. All right. So for those of you guys that feel betrayed that I did not do the drop tomorrow, you should feel betrayed, but it's going to be worse tomorrow. When it's April Fools, and I tell you that the drop is not open, opening today because it really opened yesterday. So, guys, I'll be at the boat ramp later. Chit shows on the way. I don't know. I and listen, 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 Linda. Gold, crazy content. I got this this month. I wanted to give you guys a chit show break. I know you guys want Chicho all the time. Don't get me wrong. I know that. But I want to do cool different stuff that we can go ahead and do. And you guys can see some cool stuff. So um, I'm really happy how, how we ended up the month. Um, have a, a great Easter, you and your family. I thank everybody. Big Dan Show. We're going to see more of him. Check out his channel on YouTube. The Big Dan Show. Great content over there in the panhandle. And guys, we're going to have a good one. Check out Derek from the Food Boat. Right. If you don't watch uh, Derek, check him out. He's finishing that project along real, real nice. You got Andy from the Menorca Mullet, and then you got Fishman Joe, which is in here streaming, lurking somewhere. Joe, wait for it. All right, Alfred Mother Megan scene as always. Salute, guys, I'm out of here. Hey, be safe all. Have have a happy Easter. Let me end. How do I end this? Do I end this from here? Oh, there it is. I, I was going to leave. I mean, you guys would have been here in the, in the shed the whole time. You hear me talk shit? Oh, no. That's terrible. Hey! Thank you. <laughs>